G'day, mate, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Jenny, and our wonderful little tomb town we have here, which is currently, thankfully, still free of any uh, tombstones. But with 102 dupes, it's a matter of time. So, uh, today's plan. Today's plan, we've got a couple of things we need to tick off the list. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the ranches up and running. We need to get the ranches up and running for a future food source. Not right now. We need to, you know, have the... The animals are uh, level up and evolve eventually, but we'll worry about that in the distant future. Uh, the, uh, the second thing we need to do is also linked to food. We do have um, some mealwood planted, but I need some alternative food sources. We're going to be planting two new seeds uh, this episode, hoping to make sure that we can continue with the food running. Uh, third thing we need to do is we got the bathrooms up and partially built, but uh, we don't have nearly enough bathrooms, so we need to put in some more bathrooms. At the same time, we need to finish all the research so the bathrooms actually run properly. Uh, they're going to be our three big goals for today's episode. At the same time, we're probably far enough in the game that dupes are going to start leveling up, which means we're going to have some skill points we're going to sign, which should be, should be helpful, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we also have uh, three possible geysers. We have one on the bottom left, which is, we don't know, one on the top right, which is, again, we don't know, the best type of geysers. And then we have a saltwater geyser right on the edge of the map. So we need to uh, get to that eventually, eventually. So with our plan out of the way, I do ask one thing. One, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. If you're not happy with the video, you can have it back. All right, tell you what, if a dupe uh, accidentally meets a demise, you can also have the like back. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get the video started. So, with the dupes up and running, uh, let's talk about objective number one. Objective number one is we put in a power grid and we've added in the extra power grid uh, to make sure things run in the long term. I am going to intentionally disconnect that right away. So... You know, at least some of it will run. Yeah, because currently none of it's running. We just don't have enough power on the grid. Uh, speaking of power on the grid, we also have the exact same problem. Uh, one line above being here. Uh, one, two, three, four, plus an oxygen. Yeah, we're going to disconnect that. That should give us enough power. All right. Uh, plumbing, plumbing. We got uh, some bathrooms in and out. Uh, well, in. Uh, but I have decided we need way more toilets and we need way less sinks. Uh, toilets are way more important than sinks. So we're going to put in uh, one sink, because that's what's required for a bathroom, and then how to build a toilet on top of a toilet. That's not possible. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should do us. Uh, with two doors. All right, I need a tile in there to make that a complete room, and that'll also need the same plumbing method. Yep. Uh, come on, dupes, we need to get all this done. There's a lot of jobs to do. An awful lot of jobs to do. Uh, okay, uh, we're also going to put in a tile preemptively right there for future. Future. All right. Uh, next job being these ones. Uh, we have access to a couple of new plants, like I said, uh, which is the grub fruit, fruit seed. So we're going to get a couple of grub fruits planted. Just one or two to get us up and started. We also have you who is not assigned any sort of critters. We're going to assign you up for Sweetles, and we're going to use the Grand Capture tool and say, hey, um, Sweetles, 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 Sweetles. Oh, there they are. Grab both those. Grab both those, shove them in there. All right, third food source. Whilst we're all on about our food, we have dug out a chunk of this. We want to dig this a little bit lower and also take two tiles out of here. I also want to... have done the research finish. Uh, we also want to block this area off. Uh, we're going to knock that out the top uh, because we're going to be planting in more food right about here. Uh, we're going to go with that tile. Yeah, that tile. Then we'll have a two-tile gap and then a two-tile gap. That should do us. And we'll just seal that in at the bottom. And all of that needs to be dug out, please. Can I also wall in this side? Uh, in here, we're going to be putting in... Uh, cancel, can cancel, cancel. Uh, build through there. Cool. Uh, in here, we're going to be putting in um, mushrooms. Which require to be planted in carbon dioxide. This area is not full of carbon dioxide yet, but I'm pretty sure as tubes breathe in there, it'll slowly get filled up with carbon dioxide. I also put in just a couple of ladders across the top, 
just so there's a couple of gaps so you know duplicates can breathe into the room and oxygen can well evacuate out the top i guess okay uh next thing we need to do is i probably need to move you down a couple of tiles so because we're using a lot of water to make a lot of food all right uh salt water guys is over here so we're gonna get access to that by building through there through there and through here and then we're gonna have the dupes dig out those six tiles all right uh hatches excellent uh up and running can i set so this door we're going to turn off so dupes can't use it uh this door we need to set to auto as well so the hatches actually stay in the room and that should be all we have to do uh that door i'm also going to remove duplicate access just keeps the door locked basically uh sweet have been moved cool let's remove you as well and that's being done that's been done we'll put in two doors here because i will want to dig out there in the future and we need to make sure that i have something to keep dupes up busy uh okay can i put in the toilets there there and there and up oh, power i didn't do power for the plumbing yet or do i do research okay research uh we have finished off coal generators we're going to jump into the brute force refinement brute force refinement is going to be the next research we're going to grab and that's going to require power which means i need to set up somewhere to build get some power again uh we're going to do that can i do that in a ranch i think i can do that in a ranch uh ranch 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 uh stable uh just needs critters and tendering okay uh well inside this ranch we're gonna put in uh power we're gonna be putting in our brute force refinement once the research is done which is three tiles three tiles cool we're gonna put that in there all right uh starvation it's fine don't worry about the starvation uh it probably helps if i set some recipes uh copy that to there and there all right hopefully food is uh gonna keep up from now all right uh you we've got the first one done we're gonna plant in uh Fungal spores. So fungal spores require an atmosphere of carbon dioxide, which we're going to dump one of those there, and then we'll copy them across as we get there. Uh, can we grab... You already said to be... Grab. Grab hatches. Any hatches in here? No, that's a sweetle. Uh, any hatches in here? How about in here? Uh, up, oh, there's one. All right, I need to grab all the hatches. I also need to, and we should have done this. A little, uh, we should have done this before we populated them with critters. Put in some storage. Uh, can I wrangle you lot? And you're set to uh, six critters of the hatchery type. We're gonna put those in there. You're set to sedimentary rock. You're set to sedimentary and igneous rock. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to copy those to there instead and dump a whole lot of food on the floor. Uh, can I build one of those in there and also put in another one of those above? And we're going to plant down some more spindly grub fruit all the way across there. All right. Okay, so we have attribute increases, no research. Oh, that's done already. Okay, if that's done already, can I get some smart wire? We need some smart wire in the not-too-distant future. Also, want some decorations, but we'll get the decorations in in the future can i copy that to there and that to there these won't plant until we seal it off and we fill it with co2 but we'll, we'll get it done in time all right uh that's going to be built that's going to be built this power wire that's what it's doing can i get a power wire we're going to drag from there into this guy and you know what we're also going to dig down to there so we can access a little bit further down and we'll do the same this side as well we don't mind the occasional wet tube and put in another pitcher pump all right now up until now i've been running the game at game speed one i think i think we've got far enough in that we're going to run up to game speed two uh which is probably going to be very bad uh yeah technically you can't run all of that at the same time 240 480 yeah that's a little bit too much power oh that's way too much power meh ignore it probably okay probably all right uh refinement okay so, so rock crushers i need to put in a rock crusher here and a rock crusher here i was one size short 
with the wire. All right, we're gonna need to put in some rock crushers that'll let, make, let us make refined materials. Uh, we also need a water sieve, which we're going to press the O button to rotate and plug in right there. And when a duplicate uses the wonderful toilet, uh, it pumps in, does it tell me here? Properties, jams, errands, polluted water. Mm, doesn't seem to tell me. They're water positive. They're water positive. Uh, that's the part we're trying to get to. So what's going to happen is the water that comes out of the water sieve needs to have somewhere to go. We're going to run it into a liquid bridge. Liquid bridge is going to put a priority on it. And then we're going to plug it into this end. The excess from the bridge, we're going to run out this way. And we're going to end up turning that into oxygen once we get the research done. Because we still have insufficient oxygen. Okay. Back in a research, can I just stop very quickly and get artistic impression? Because, you know, I, I, I want to spruce the place up a little bit. Uh, okay, you copy settings, all your friends. All right, we're getting that done, we're getting that done. Uh, they're getting that done. Storage. All right, storage, I want you to store everything. Uh, except, there's a whole lot of exceptions. Uh, we don't want critter eggs to be stored. Because uh, if we store them in a box, they tend to go off. Uh, we don't want to have uh, consumable oil. I don't want uh, oxalite. I also don't want uh, organic. Organic. I don't want slime or polluted dirt. Uh, I also don't want... Uh, seeds. See if we can store seeds. I also want to set you to priority one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely missing some. Cultivated soil is fine. Filtration medium is fine. Industrial ingredients, fine. Metal ore is fine. Miscellaneous is fine. Metals fine. Seeds are fine. Raw ore is fine. Okay. Uh, then what I want to do is I want to mark a sweeping and I want to mark a priority four sweep. I want to clean up that and that and that. I don't want the hatches eating the food that's randomly being dropped on the floor. And we're going to copy that to all your friends. The idea being that if a dupe's bored, at least they'll go tidy up. That's the hope, at least. We're hoping I can convince them to do other things instead, like, you know, food maintenance or, or something else. Uh, but, you know, if they're bored, bored, uh, hopefully we can get them clean up. Also, we want to give uh, some priorities to some construction jobs, like that job, that job, and uh, that job with that job. Okay. Uh... Attribute increase. Uh, no, let's go research first. Okay, so we've got that one done. Next up on our research is going to be the electrolyzer. That's the research we need to actually convert some of this water uh, into some oxygen. Glorious oxygen. Uh, priorities. I'm going to get a seven with construction. All of that, please. And we'll throw that in there as well. Actually, we're going to turn that into real tiles. Yeah, I know. You went and delivered stuff, and we didn't do anything with it. Okay. We're also going to find out uh, what, that vo what, what that volcano is. Yes. Uh, can I also dig down to these weedles and knock out that section? Just have access. All right. And this is, hasn't been done, and I don't think duplicates can get across there. They can't. All right. What we do need to do then is... Give them a little bit of a helping hand to get across. And we're probably past the point of having some bedrooms. So, can I put in a door? Yeah. Starvation. It's fine. Don't worry about the hunger. The hunger will go away, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we have a lot of dupes running on a lot of wheels. Um, I really want to get our dupes off wheels as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, bedrooms. Can I go with the... Uh, nope, not the first half. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With two doors at that end. And you, I want to move you over a tile. So we're going to plug that in there instead. Okay. Uh, that's a volcano. Can I just dig up that side and we'll dig in there and find out what that is. And I also meant to dig down... This two tiles wide, and we're going to dig straight through that plant into here. And also double check, harvest, priority eight. Zoom the way out and say everything. Cool. All right. 
Nobody's really swept up. Uh, downtime, hypothermia. Whoa, there's pee. Mop, high priority. This end of the mopping. Did somebody pee on the floor? Did I miss somebody? Ah, uh, there's pee in the clean water. Oh. 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 Quick, mop. Mop, mop. Don't put any more pee in the clean water. Somebody peed on the floor. Yeah, we need bathrooms to be emptied. Uh, priorities, all. Uh, priority eight, clean the bathrooms. Super high priority. Can't have those go offline. Not until we get the new ones up and running. All right, new ones are uh, partially there. We have the water has been pumped in, but what has not happened is we haven't plugged in power. So I need to bring power over to here, then into here, then into here. Uh, we also just finished the research for the electrolyzer, which we're gonna pump uh, right there. We should be plugged in. It is. Uh, can I put in a second electrolyzer just because, well, potentially there's a lot of pee. Uh, yeah. Can we plug that in there as well? Can I priorities? Uh, construction. Priority eight. All of that. And that. Uh, not that anybody can use the bathrooms yet. Uh, actually, I want to slide those over a tile. Can I run the you out one more tile and run you out one more tile and oxygen? Where were we? Electrolyzer. I want to have one tile gap there and there because in here I want a storage bin right there. All right. Uh, that's going to be our plan. Okay. Uh, guys, get that done. Uh, but we do have some people cleaning up from the looks of it. Maybe not. Uh, okay, this door, I want to remove access. This door, I want to remove access. Uh, we're getting there bit by bit. Uh, you're out of power. All right, power is still a major issue. Uh, okay, rusty oxidizer, we don't care. Uh, kiln, we don't care. Uh, ethanol is still up. Uh, the algae is still up. We don't care. Hanging pots, we do care. All right. Hanging Pot's gonna let me put in some decorations. As we can see from the map, uh, green is good, red is the stock color. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna pretend that everything is naturally red and we're gonna put in a couple of Hanging Pots. It's just one or two laying around the place just to try and spruce the place up a little bit, you know, give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of charm or something along, like, uh, along those lines. Uh, where else can I put these? I can put ones above the cook. Uh, we throw one in here. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, we'll throw one in here, one in here, one beside the supercomputer. The other thing it gave me access to was... Where are we? Decorations, furniture. Uh, it gives me access to a ceiling light. You know, a ceiling light above anything that they work on will give them a boost, which is very, very handy. So we're going to put them above science. In theory, I should put them above uh, every single micro musher and that sort of thing, so they can get a 15% uh efficiency and speed boost whilst running those machines but realistically let's be honest uh we're not going to do that we're not going to do that because well i can't be bothered and uh that's pretty much it we're also going to throw in a couple of more micro mushes because we can uh because you know more power better power all right uh that's been done you have water water has flown into every bathroom you're ready to go you just need power power is being worked on in Theory. Uh, oh, crown modding. Crown modding is the other thing. Uh, we're going to put in a corner crown modding. Nope. Corner crown molding. Furniture. Crown molding. Why can't I put it there? Oh, because it's not a corner. I'm going to put it right across the top of the bathroom. Eh, it can be pretty. Pretty. Sort of pretty. Uh, we're going to put that in there and there. Now, one thing I haven't really gone into too much is the room overlay. So, we can see that these are stables. We've spoken about stables. Stables are up and running. Uh, this is a washroom. A uh, washroom gives us a morale bonus of two. This is a latrine. Gives us a morale bonus of one. Now, morale bonuses are very, very handy uh, because we're going to need some morale bonuses because we've just had our first duplicate level up. If I sort by skill points, skill points. There we go. Slot by skill points, scroll to the bottom, and we're going to have a bunch of dupes. Now, uh, we have Rude Irish Knight right here. He would like to be a tinkerer. So we're going to give him uh, the ability to start operating things and have a little bit of a higher machinery 
uh, machinery skill. The catch is, if we see up here, he currently has a morale of two, which is one from being a duplicate, uh, one from a latrine, uh, one from having a two-shift break. We haven't really spoken about the schedule. We, sh we should look at that in a second. And uh, minus one from the decor being ugly. The decor is going to remain being ugly for a very long time. That's perfectly fine. We're going to do what we can to spruce it up as we go. So, uh, yes, if we give him the skill of, I don't know, improve supply and carrying, which will give him plus two strength and 400 kilograms carry capacity, we can see his morale needs go up from zero to plus one. If we give him uh, something he actually has a desire to do, like improve tinkering, uh, he gets a plus one morale bonus from doing something he wants to do. So our plan is sort of going to be split the difference wherever possible and make sure that we specialize duplicates in things that they want to do. Uh, at the same time, um, try and keep our morale needs as low as possible. Because, let's face it, uh, the place is a bit of a dump. Uh, you also want to do tinkering. That seems reasonable. Uh, Matt wants to do carrying. Uh, Cakefish would like to do improved supply carry. I like this so far. I haven't had to explain any new ones yet. Uh, Happy Fox wants to do hard digging. And uh, Colbits wants to improve supply carry. Now, the next logical thing I would have to do is I would have to go into the priorities and then uh, find every one of those duplicates. And we sort them by name, it sort of helps. And we go, Colblitz was the one we were just looking at, which is here. He already has a, a affinity to do supplying and tidying and storing things. And then we'd have to go back to skills and we'd have to find the other duplicates and rearrange them as well. The problem is they've all rearranged. So pro tip, pro tip right here. I generally name my dupes. I have 102 of them. I'm not going to do it this series, but I, I'm telling you how I do it when I play for myself. Right at the moment, I'm going to have to write down a cheat sheet. Uh, is I put a letter at the end of their name. So this will be Colblitz, and he would be, well, if they're doing digging, they're a name D. If they're doing building, it's a name B. If they're doing farming or ranching, it's an F or an R. If they're doing cooking, that's a C for cook. Uh, art, I don't bother barking or i give them an a it really really doesn't matter uh research is an r obviously uh rockets are a r okay rock yep uh carrying is a supply dupe so s uh tinkering is generally a t or they're gonna go for metatronics engineering at which point it becomes an m or realistically a b because um metatronics engineers give you the ability to do a whole lot of construction construction uh, of conveyor rails and they take a long time to build so generally, I want a Metatronics engineer who spent most of his time specializing and doing building the whole time, but he's uh, he, he's done building. That's what I've uh, prioritized him to do, but then I've specialized him in being a Metatronics engineer, so he has the ability to um, do some of the more complicated buildings as we get further on. Uh, operators are obviously an O. Medics, I never have an edic, a medic, and uh, strength is also supply carry, so that's an S. And that's generally how I name... Uh, oh, I, I put in a... Uh, an abbreviation, I guess, at the end of the duplicate's names, just so I can keep track of them. By all means, I'm um, giving them a specialized hat also helps. And where were the others? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can I? I can do that. There's 102 of them. All right, if we scroll the bottom. Uh, it wasn't Rope, it wasn't Gumdote, it wasn't Michael, it wasn't Silent Wolf, Victoria, Colbert, got his hat, Student Pilot, uh, it was Rude Irish, Rude Irish, Cakefish, Cakefish got one, uh, Jens for me did not, uh, Jeff, no, I'm really bad at names, oh, Rude Irish Knight, who, ah, I missed your, there you go, you improved Tinkering, uh, Donkus, no. Chase, no. Uh, Civilian, who is our dedicated cleaning up person, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, Matt. Matt went to carry. Uh, so yeah, having the different hats also helps to differentiate them. The problem is, uh, after I finish going through this list, Uh, there we go. Happy Fox went to hard digging, and we had a researcher. But I actually need to make sure can do research. 
Uh, chase, no. Victimizer, no. Because I banned everybody from research. No idea who it was. Uh, it's all right. All right. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about uh, research. Ah, I was talking about uh, schedule. So our schedule is, well, we've got four to five tubes on every schedule. But as you can see, we can't see the hats. Which means finding them in here is very difficult. At the same time, if we go into priorities, which will take, well, actually it didn't take too long to load because the game's paused. Again, you can't see the hats which means you need to match a name to a profession, which means, as I said, I, I go through and I normally add an abbreviation at the end of everybody's names. That way, hopefully, I can find them. Because, yes, I've turned off research for everybody, made sure... Oh, boss Jones, really? Boss, boss. Oh, no, you don't have any skill points. You lied to me. Um, yes, I generally go through and... and, and, and put in uh, a, an abbreviation so we can find them in the priorities list and make sure they're prioritized to the one thing I want them to do. Uh, like Colblitz was already luckily set up to do cleaning, but I have no idea about the others. All right, uh, speaking of other problems, uh, research. We have uh, finished all of that. Okay, next thing I want to do then is I want to get a smart battery. Smart battery is going to be the next one and I need that construction to go in. All right. Whilst we're waiting for that construction to go in, and I can't disconnect that yet. Uh, power, can I get in coal generators? We're gonna want, we're gonna want another queue of tiles. I think I wanna have my generators a little bit lower. All right, uh, food poisoning's fine. Okay, and I need you guys to also start making some refined metals. So can I have, uh, oh, suffocating. That sounds bad. Uh, can I make 10? 10, which will give me 50, which is 500 kilograms of copper ore to uh, copper. And we'll do the same for gold. And you know what? Whilst we're at it, we'll do the same for iron. Uh, can I just make 30, uh, 10 runs of each of those? Okay. Uh, suffocating. Mr. Donkus is down here and suffocating. Um, I'm sort of surprised. I thought we had... Eh, we have some holes. Uh, well, a lack of holes. Okay. Can I deconstruct that and deconstruct that? And we did get access to... Nothing. Uh, can I knock a hole here? That at least should let the CO2 out of this pit and let it flow down to, well, here where I forgot to put a ladder. Uh, can I keep running our ladder down to... Well, there. Uh, can we knock that out and can i knock out that uh starvation and there we go see david's now earned a skill point uh copy settings there to there dig that out it's got co2 in it. it does have some but it's also got some oxygen which is the problem all right uh that's done that's done that's done okay priorities dead set eight i need this done dupes this is like super important like, this is the what's holding up our bathrooms. Uh, and you. You done? Can I have you to do... Sweetles. Okay. Can I grab Sweetle and Toilet? Can I also put in a bunch of tiles here to here? Uh, can I also grab Sweetles... Well, those when we can access them. Uh, this Sweetle again... Okay, I think that's all the Sweetles. All right, and this power grid keeps overloading. Okay, suffocating is fine. What we're gonna do to solve that problem is, I think I'm gonna remove you and you. Because technically I'm pulling too much power off this grid all the time, which is causing us uh, severe problems with just keeping everything running. Uh, three, so. The manual generator is put on 800 watts, and then I'm pulling off uh, 2.4, 480, what's that, 6, 720, 720, over 800, well, well over 800. Um, I'm just trying to pull too much power off the grid. So realistically, two micro mushes, 
Uh, her grid is probably a better number. And if I uh, spread these guys out a little bit more, I'd probably have them running a bit better. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pull out you and uh, you're already marked for deconstruction and we're going to mark you for deconstruction as well. Yeah. Okay. With the hole punched in there, the carbon oxide will flow down. Uh, Chase earned a skill point. Of course he did. And up, up. They finally dug this out. Uh, can I get in a ladder, please? I think I need a ladder to be able to reach that. No, pretty eight. That as well. Uh, and pretty eight. That bucket. And can we... It's a toilet. And it's the uh, auto. Auto. And this one, we're just going to turn off. We're just going to remove duplicate access. I just want them to be able to walk through here properly. Uh, rather than... Dupes are smart, you see. And they'll what they'll do is they'll walk up to a door. And then they'll choose to jump on top of the door. Uh, we also need to set you to go... Set direction right. Okay. Uh, water has got to there, but then it has a confused because I plugged in that. Can I disconnect that really quickly? And let the water flow all the way through. And then as soon as that power cable goes in, and can I get filtration medium sand? Okay. As soon as that power cable goes in, you should start processing. No, somebody needs to drop off sand. There we go. Okay. So we're starting to turn our pee water into, wow. A whole bunch of skill points, suffocating and starvation. Okay. Should start turning our pee water into clean water. The clean water at the moment only has the choice of popping down here and going to these electrolyzers and becoming nice, clean, full of uh, water poisoning, poisoning, full of germs. Which germs do you have? Uh, you have food poisoning germs. Yeah, food poisoning gems. So it'll uh, turn into nice clean air full of food poisoning gems. It's fine. We don't mind. Uh, so that's what will happen there. But what I actually want to do is I want to disconnect the water from this end. This end. Yeah, can I plug that back in there? Cool. And I want to plug it in here instead. So the idea being that what will happen is our polluted water will come in here. Our clean water will go back into the system, make sure the toilets keep running. And then the excess clean water should be able to come over this way and run to these guys and turn to oxygen. There's a catch. The catch being that, um, well, I needed to get rid of this air somehow. Uh, so I need to make sure we have access to dump that air somewhere. Uh, and for right now, it's going to be, well, into the surrounding atmosphere as best as possible. I can I put a tile there, a tile there, a tile there? That way I'm going to have some airflow up and down. Can I cancel that? And we'll put in a tile there instead. And that way we have some flow of air up and down. All right. Power. Can I get coal generators? I was talking about doing this earlier. Uh, can I put in one, two, three, four? Four. All right. Research. Uh, you're done with the heavy, uh, with the smart batteries. I also need heavy what? Okay, black screen, perfect. I also need heavy watt wire. Heavy watt wire is also gonna be very, very important. And we have a new duplicate to print, which means, which means, we're gonna be printing that in the next episode. At the same time, I am going to have to jump through the sort by skills, sort by skills. The long list of duplicates that have skill points available. Um, Realistically, I'm gonna be putting, uh, if anybody doesn't have a specialization that they want to go into. So at the moment we are looking at, I don't even know who this is. It is, I don't know. Psst, who are you? I don't know. All right, let's just pick rope. Uh, rope wants to go into advanced research. So we'll put him in advanced research. But anybody who doesn't have a specialization into grilling, research, carry or tinkering or building or digging so if they're in oh well actually anyone who has a, a, a an affinity for only like rocket rocketry or medicine or art uh we're gonna put them in supply carry the reason we're gonna put them in supply carry is there's a lot of stuff to move around there's always a lot of stuff to move around there's a lot of materials to move around to do construction there's a lot of materials to move around to, to get things up and running to to make food to 
you know, so on and so forth. So our plan is uh, any dupes that don't have an affinity that is actually useful to me, uh, like, uh, sort of a bad example. Uh, still a bad example. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, okay, eventually it's going to be one of them. Uh, we're going to put them into supply carry. We'll, we'll, we'll suffer the morale cost, uh, but make sure that we can get materials moved around a little bit faster. At the same time, I do want to ask you guys, uh, remember in the earlier in the video where I asked whether I could borrow a like until a duplicate died? Well, the good news is uh, no dupes have died yet. So uh, I'd really like to keep that like. If you had, didn't throw one on earlier, I'd really like to throw it on now. At the same time, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, you should probably do so because that way you get notified about the next episode. Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to call this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tomb Town. And the good news is nobody's dead yet. <laughs>